though the changeover from war to peace production may seem slow, it has begun. Materials like plexiglass, perspex and so on are already beginning to find their way into homes. Everything in this American picture, which appears to be made of glass, is made of the same stuff they used for turrets in aircraft and many other war purposes. It's easily handled, very light and nearly unbreakable. Plastic hats are also being made now. Whether they'll catch on or not remains to be seen. In Britain, too, the changeover is beginning. For example, this mosquito factory at Walthamstow. Planes were still being made, but wartime schedules were fairly rapidly making way for the manufacture of other things. Mosquito-making machinery was on the way out. Jigs were going to the scrap heap. In fact, here, where furniture-making craftsmen took over the job of making one of the war's most successful aircraft, they're now building furniture again. Utility furniture, and as you see, they've got some nice labor-saving machinery to help with the work. Even if it's utility furniture for priority customers only on the point system, we can all take it as a hint that peace production is on the way. It seems pretty obvious we've all got to be very patient. The idea that peace and plenty would return together just wasn't true. Exports, too, are urgent. Whiskey is one of the exports that did very useful war work and is still carrying on. One thing, we may not get the whiskey here at home, but, well, we don't get the hangover either. 